Okay, so with simultaneous equation. Right, I'm going to do two ways. I'm going to do the easy way, and I'm going to do it the way it works for every single one. Now, 2x plus 3y equals 10. 4x minus y equals negative 1. Now, we need to either make your x's or the y's the same. Now, I naturally go for the x's, but you want to see which one makes more sense. Uh, if I label these up, 1, 2. It will make more sense to double the first one to make the x's the same. So the first one, which I'm now going to write 3, I'm actually going to write it as 4x, because 2x times 2 is 3x. 3y times 2 is 6y, equals 20. Now these two here, so my x's are the same. So I'm actually going to subtract the second one from the third one. So 2 minus 3. And it does matter which way you do it, but it just depends how good your algebra is. So 4x minus 4x is no x's. I'm not going to write anything. Minus y minus 6y actually will give me a negative 7y. Okay. Minus 1 minus 20 will give me minus 21. Now if you don't believe me, trust in the calculator. Minus 1 minus 20 is minus 21. So just in case you're not good with your negative numbers, we can do that. Now minus 7y equals minus 21. We want, a, we want 1y. So we have to divide this by negative 7. It's important we do it by negative 7, because there's negative 7 here. Divide this by negative 7. So I'm going to have y equals, to be negative 21 divided by negative 7, which is 3. So y is 3. Okay. Now we need to substitute this back into one of these equations. I want a little bit of space here. So I'm going to choose the first one just for a hell of it. So I've got 2x plus 3, and we know y is 3, so it's 3 times 3 equals 10. 3 times 3 is 9, so I've got 2x plus 9 equals 10, minus 9 from both sides. Okay, so I've got 2x equals 1, so x is going to be a half. x is going to be a half. Okay. Now, I just want to double check this, so I'm actually going to do the second one, I'm going to substitute these values in to see if it works. I'm infringing on the other question, which you shouldn't do. You should put your hand up and ask for it. So I've got 4 times a half, okay, uh, minus... 3, because my value of y is 3, equals negative 1. Let's see if this works. 4 times a half is 2. So I've got 2 minus 3 equals negative 1. 2 minus 3 does equal negative 1, so I'm not right. Now the other way I want to do it, and this will work for every single equation, it's just a bit more working out. If I do 2x plus 3y equals 10, 4x minus y equals minus 1. Now, here I only times by one number, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to times this one by my bottom value, so that one I'm times in by 4, and this one I'm going to times by 2. And it's just to work for every single one. You don't have to think about your factors or your multiples. You get a bigger number, but again, it will, it will generally always work. Uh, 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times 3 is 12y. 4 times 10 is 40. Okay. Uh, 2 times 4 gives you 8x. 2 times minus y is minus 2y. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 then we always subtract, okay? Don't care what the situation is, you always subtract. Your x's will always be positive. I've never seen an example where your x's are negative. Uh, 8x minus x, 8x is nothing. Uh, 12x minus minus 2. So I'm going to use my calculator because I might not be good at subtracting. Minus minus 2 equals 14. So that's 14y. 14 minus minus 2. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Equals 42. Uh, divided by 14. Divided by 14, these cancel out. Y equals 42 divided by 14 equals 3. Y equals 3, which is exactly what I did here. And then you just substitute back into the same equation, just as what I did before.